Well, welcome back to Channel Run. I'm back on the old 85 Ford F-150. Uh, this is not a very complicated problem here. I'm actually replacing the blower motor uh, on here. It was giving me some problems throughout the winter time, and uh, I picked up one, and I just never got a chance to put it in because it really wasn't good weather to do it. I was too busy plowing snow, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Uh, the biggest thing I wanted to show off here is, you know, back in the day when they were uh, building these vehicles, they were making stuff easy to get to. As you can see, I've got um, three 5 16 inch screws here um, to pop out, and that's all that holds it in. So I just thought it was kind of neat to show off that, you know, back when they were building cars, they were kind of keeping that in mind in case something fails. So basically, all you got to do is remove those. And uh, pop it out of there. Let's go ahead and pull the power cord off there as well. All right, let's get the third one. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing a series on this on this truck. You know, maybe uh, put together a little uh, how-to, or maybe just you know show the all the steps of keeping this old girl going. So again, this is just my yard truck. All I do is with this is uh, I plow snow with it and uh, move some things around the yard. I, I haul the grader that you see me with once in a while, um, the York rake. All right, so there's, there it is. You can barely turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's pooched. She's pooched. So, all right, so we don't need that. And take the new one, used. And I'm just gonna pop that right in there. Just like that. Oh yeah. And you can see back then when they were designing this stuff, they were designing it so you could get in and work on it. Nowadays, as you've seen some of the videos I've done uh, replacing the fans and stuff, most everything is underneath the dash. Not that difficult, but uh, still this is much easier. So we're going to go ahead and put all the 5 16 screws back in. Whoops, I forgot the ground on that one. Put our ground strap back in. And there we have it. <laughs> That's kind of in real time. I may speed this up. I may not. We'll see what it looks like when I start editing it. So not not a, not a whole lot to this. So um, well, I hope this helps you with your 85 Ford blower problems. And I'm sure you probably figured this out on your own. Uh, but again, I think I might start a series on this old Ford and uh, start updating some of the things. The cab mounts are gone. Uh, the rockers are gone. The U joints are, are bad. It needs a lot of attention, and uh, I got to keep to this going because this is what I use to plow my snow in the wintertime. So, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.